Hey, hi. In this video, we are going to see how to trigger a Jenkins build every time we make a commit to our GitHub repository. Okay, so before moving ahead, let me just show you the repository that we are working with. Okay, so in my repository's name is Simple Cucumber Proj, right? And this is the code that I have in it. I I have got four cases, and in each case. Uh, I have got simple system out print ln statements, right? And let me just run this once for you guys so that you can look at the output. So NBN test. Okay, this is the output. I've got four sections and I just print out I'm just printing what I'm trying to do in each scenario. Cool. Now let's go ahead and execute this from Jenkins. Okay, so I will first create a Jenkins job. Uh, let's call it test job and I'll select freestyle project and I will link this project to my GitHub repository, right? I'll, I'll provide the GitHub repository URL. Let's copy this from here. Just paste it over here. And for branches, I will be building my master branch itself. Okay. For build trigger, let it remain empty for now. Just put in your build step like invoke top level maven targets over here select your maven version and then in goals type in the command that you want to execute for us it is test right we were executing mvn test before click on apply and save and let's just build this for once and look at the output right it is working fine it's building everything Okay, so my test cases ran, four test cases ran. This is same as what I was getting in my local, right? So my build, uh, my Jenkins is integrated with my GitHub. Now let's uh, try to execute this on a successful commit. So now that we want to build this particular job on a commit, right? right so we need to set up a trigger point. So let's go back to our job and go back to the configure section and add in the trigger. So we'll be going to the build trigger section and over here we would be selecting GitHub hook triggers for Git SCM. Right, so before moving on and setting this up, let's look at what actually a hook is. So what is a webhook? To understand this, we need to first have a look at our normal HTTP request wherein we have a client that makes a request to the server and the server does something with that request right and gives a response back to the client in a webhook uh, the request part is not there right the server gives a response directly to the client and this is generally because of some changes that took place in the server okay now let's go ahead and configure our webhook so in order to do so go into your repository first click on settings then in the left menu click on webhooks then click on add a webhook right so here it will request you for your payload url so this is the url by which you can access jenkins on the net right so right now we do not have that or rather i do not have that i am still using localhost okay so my Jenkins is not available on web. So we need to somehow expose this to the gender, to the internet. Okay. Uh, in order to, in order to do so, we can actually use uh, some servers like N NGX, Nginx, or Apache. Uh, but uh, for the for the purposes of this tutorial, I would be using NGROC. Uh, NGROC is a tunneling service, right? Uh, it actually just uh, forwards your particular local post over to the internet, like to the public. Good. So go ahead and search for NGROC. And in this, I will go, go ahead and click on download for NGROC.com. And I'll download for Windows as I'm using a Windows machine and wait for this to finish.
then once my download finishes I am going to extract this okay uh, then I'm going to copy this address then open my command prompt navigate to that particular folder and then type in the following command ng rock space http space port 8090 uh, this is because my Jenkins is running on 8090 port And then press enter for this to do its process once the process finishes you will have something like this on your screen uh, copy the HTTPS address Just control insert for copying and then move back to your github and then paste it in your payload URL. after this you will need to append slash GitHub hyphen webhook web oh. slash right and then you can leave the rest of the thing as it is for now. Click on add webhook. Right. So your webhook is added, and now let's uh, do a push to this repository and see whether our job gets executed or not. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a quick comment. So in my IntelliJ, I will go and add something to my system print line. Okay, let's just add few columns. And let's just commit this. I will go to my project folder, do a git bash. Right, then I'll just do a uh, get diff once I have a difference and I do get commit minus a type in the message let's say ping message escape q then I will commit this straight away to master this is not recommended but I'm right on so I will get push origin mouse now we expect that a build should be triggered for our jingles let's go ahead and see okay there is a pending build let's see what happens next spending time is over now it has started building Let's just check the logs. Okay, okay. Well, so there you be have it. Our code was executed once the commit was made, and we have the changes written in the here also. Cool. Okay, so thanks for watching this video and hope you have a good day